Hey guys, we are back with some more Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. And in this chapter, or in this part, we're going to be doing Ephraim's chapter. And guys, we just started, but I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Well, I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, I was going to say something else, but I just totally forgot. Anyway, we're back with more Sacred Stones. And before I go on, I'm going to be doing a couple things. Um, supply. Take. We want... The Elijah Whip, and we also want. No, nope, not give. Take the Knight's Crest. What level is Niemi? Must know. Okay, not yet. Not. Huh. I want that now. You know what? You know. No, no, not not yet. Not yet, everyone. Okay. Well, forward use. Come on. Well, I do want to go for the Great Knight because they can use all three weapons. But we'll be getting one really soon. Now, we haven't really used Seth, so I'm actually going to turn forward to a Paladin. Um, a Great Knight would probably be the better thing, but I... I don't know, we're going to be getting one soon, and he's actually a really good Great Knight. So, I mean, I might as well just turn him into a Paladin. And... Wow, we're looking pretty good. And Vanessa, Vanessa, where are you? Use Elijah and Whip, yes. Now, you can turn her into a Falco Knight, which they have swords and lances, uh, and she keeps her um, little unicorn pony. But, you can also turn her into a Wyvern Knight, and uh, they have a skill called Pierce, and most, well not most, just about, mm, I'll say like maybe 45% of uh, class-up units have a certain kind of skill. I'm going to say class-up. Uh, and uh, Pierce actually will do more damage, like, you'll see a little animation before they attack, and they'll do some, like, extra damage with their hit, and it's really good for, like, great, non, not great knights, but, like, generals, and other heavily armored units, so, yeah, I'm totally gonna be turning her into one, and that was a, whew, damn, that was a good class up, okay, I need to get her more stuff, but I think that's about everything for right now, um, uh, 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 yeah, you know what, let's, let's get on with the game. I'll, I'll buy some stuff when we're, um, at the armory before this thing. A former lance instructor at Ephraim, Grotto's General Duessel often came to Rene as an emiss emissary from his empire. Despite their stations, the two men share similar dis dispositions and a warm relationship. Kind of weird. Why has Grotto started this war? What is the miasma of evil emanating from the country? I thought it said resonating, but that's not the word. Ephraim believes that Duessel can answer these questions. It is his belief that propels Ephraim forward into Grotto territory. Oh, wow. That was terrible reading, but I always read really bad in these parts. Anyway, Chapter 10, Turning Traitor. A little more dialogue. I hope this is loud enough, because the last episode was not very loud. Please wait, Prince Ephraim. I have a message from Freelia. There's been an uprising in Carcino. Pablo was leading a force of renegade Grotto supporters in rebellion. In Carcino? Any word of Erica? Is my sister safe? The last word we received had Princess Erica's had Princess Erica heading to assist Prince Eans. We've not heard from her since. Blast! I sent Erica to Roston thinking it would be the safest mission. If I could, I'd pull out of here now and go back for her, but... Prince Ephraim. I know, I know. I mustn't let my emotions dictate my actions. In Car if Carcino has allied itself with Grotto, then defeating Grotto is our best bet. We proceed as planned. Tell them that. Understood. Be careful, Erica. Now, before I go on, I don't think I ever mentioned this about Seth. I don't know if I put it in an annotation or whatever. But you see his character development very well in this. How he's so, he's so used to, like, telling Erica what to do. But when he gets, like, when he's with Ephraim, Ephraim already, like, knows what to do. So it's not like Seth's useless, but... You, you can totally see two different sides of him, because when he's with Erica, he's totally, like, more heroic, because he's always there to protect her and tell her, like, what they should do next, but Ephraim's already, like, two steps ahead, so he knows what's going on, and Seth, like, Seth's trying to tell him what to do, but he already has his mindset and everything. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about, and I'm sorry it took so long to get that out. Anyway, let's go. I'm turning this up one more. What? Was that an earthquake? I think it's past. Prince Ephraim. I'm fine, there's nothing to worry about. I was surprised, that's all. You're not shaking in the slightest, are you? 
Actually, it surprised me as well. I heard that tremors such as those were commonplace in Grotto. Apparently, they are usually weak and cause little, if any, damage. Now that now that you mention it, I remember a while back when I was first in Grotto, Eric and I were startled by a tremor just like that one. Lion said he had grown used to them, and he just laughed. We don't have any time to tend to injuries just now. We must press forward. We must see to the capital. I, I do not understand. Why, why is this course of action? What is the Emperor thinking? General Duessel. Is that you, Selina? Are you to be assisting me in this duty? Yes. Freelia's army will be coming soon from the north. We're just waiting for them. Or oh, something. The edge, maybe? Hmm. Prince Ephraim leads the enemy forces, doesn't he? That is correct. Prince Ephraim of Rene. Bah. Rene is our enemy. General, please, give me the order. Give the order to attack. No. Order all units to hold. Do not initiate the attack. I want to speak with Ephraim first. So it's true. You plan to betray the Empire and ally yourself with the enemy. What? General Duessel, you stand accused of treason in the highest order. Lay down your weapons and follow my commands. If you fail to, if you fail to do so, if you resist in any way, I will execute you on the spot. This is nonsense! Who is behind this madness? These are His Majesty's orders. The em Emperor has anticipated your treachery. Prepare yourself. Impossible. His Majesty. Cormag, you and I will bring down, bring that traitor down. Go around, the, go around that fort to the southeast and drive them from the seas. We're fighting General Duessel, but he is one of the cornerstones of the Empire. How could he's been like a father to you and, and to my brother? Do you truly mean to kill him? If that is what my Emperor commands, then yes, without hesitation. Cormag, if you are a true knight of Grotto, you will do the same. Here we are. Prince Ephraim, the Imperial Grotto army is before us. I know, but something's odd. They're chasing someone down. Is that a deserter? Wait, that's Duessel! Prince Ephraim, what are your orders? We rescued Duessel. Ride! Okay, uh, no, pick units? Yeah, I don't want Amelia in here. No, I want... Dun, dun, dun. Who do I want? Oh, crap. Do I not need anyone? You know, I, I need Tana for this. I want Ford, Colm, yeah. Uh, uh, does she already have? No. Okay. Neither do they. Crap! I can't think of who I want. Franz? You know what? Amelia needs some levels, so I'm just gonna keep her out there. Now we need to go to items, and if this takes, if this end up, if this ends up taking too long, I'm totally just gonna cut ahead. All right. Anyway, you're good. It's just Vanessa. It's Do we have anything in the lance section? Yeah, we do. Okay. Well, I just wasted some more money, but that's no big deal. Uh, you can take another lance. What the hell's up with this damn phone? It keeps ringing. Uh, you need another heal. I don't think we have one in here. Oh, no, we do. Okay, cool. That's actually really... Oh, no, I'm not done. Yes, yes. That's good. That's good. That's... That's troublesome. Supply I'm gonna give Joshua the rune sword just so I can show it off because I will end up showing it off. Uh, no, don't give. I'm gonna take this hand axe and this iron. Yeah, might as well. Might as well get a vulnerary too while I'm at it. Just a one's fine. And um, I'm gonna try and train up loot so I can. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to give loot the guiding ring. And I'm going to use it on her, because she's level 17. I mean, I could probably max out her magic, but I don't think that's a really big deal. Now, the best option here is to go to the uh, Sage, because they can use Anima, which is, you know, like, the uh, elemental, light magic, and staffs. But I think I'm going to be going to a Mage Knight, because they can use uh, that kind of magic and staffs. So, yeah, let's do this thing. Now, I normally put her to a Sage, but I we're going to be getting a Sage a little later on. Uh, in Ephraim's chapter, you actually get them a little bit later than you do in Erica's chapter. Or er Erica's path, I should say. But anyway, a Mage Knights Mage Knights are pretty good. They're uh, mounted, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Because, you like, the Horse Slayer can still work on them. I'm actually going to... You know what? I'm going to trade Natasha, get the 17 staff. And uh, then we should be good to go. Yeah, let's do this thing. I'm really sorry if that took too long. But I'm going to try and make this a little longer video. And then, then let's do this thing. Yeah, I'll wait right there. 
Now, you want Tana to come down here. You're going to really, really want Tana down there for something a little later on. And we can even show off loot right now. So, let's do this then. Yeah, uh, Mage Knights are really cool. Um, uh, they're not my favorite magic class, because that would totally be um, some dark magic class that we haven't encountered yet, so I'm not going to spoil it. That wasn't right. I'm also going to have Vanessa come down with Tana, too, just because she needs some help. Ford, I don't know. Well, we got we got to think of something, because I need to start doing some supports. And I actually might bring Vanessa back um, up there. What's this? They've only just begun. What a disappointment. I so wanted to witness the comedy of two generals hacking away at each other. Walter, what do you want? Ah, Selina, you're, re you're to return to the capital immediately. Duessel is no longer your concern. His Majesty has declared you untrustworthy, and been s I've been sent to relieve you of command. What? You've proven yourself incapable of dealing with a single old man. I tell you, having to clean up your mess makes things difficult for me, Selina. Now then, Baron. Yes, sir. I'm leaving. I can't leave poor Eric as sad and lonely in Carcino. You're in command here for the duration of this conflict. I'll take care of things. What do you think you're doing? I'm here at His Majesty's bidding, and... Did you not hear me? His Majesty's bidding has changed. You, Selina, are not to be trusted. These are His Majesty's words. You share the same sentiment as Duessel. You could turn traitor just as he has. You should feel honored. He could have ordered me to kill you where you stand. That, that's absurd. His Majesty, he... He knows I'm trustworthy. Then return to the capital and sort it out. Go and ask your beloved master whether I speak the truth. I... What are you going to do, Selina? I will return to the capital. I know better than to trust your word. I will speak to the Emperor myself. <laughs> Stupid woman. If Grotta wins too easily, there'll be no more bloodshed. We must do what we can to extend the fun. I believe it's time for me to return to my darling Erica. It wouldn't do for Glenn to arrive before me, would it? Take care of things before I, I return, you understand? Of course. Alright, so good thing uh, Valter wasn't there, because he's actually really powerful. And I'm hoping we can see the Mage Knight's critical hit, because it's actually... Well, actually, it's not cool. They kind of just, like, jump backwards on their horse. But, I think they do. Anyway, whatever. Uh, yeah. So, how are you guys doing today? Because I'm actually pretty good. Today is my day off. And I'm gonna go drink tonight with my friends. Because I need a sober, free day. Just because it's, uh, it's not boring, but I just... I don't know. I needed a break. Work is just a nightmare for the past five days and I need this break I really hope I made the right decision in changing loot to a mage knight mm, buh, because the sages they have really high magic and that's really awesome but they also they're not mm, hold on, where okay Cormag's down here he can go right here but this guy can go right there as well and I'm going to bring Vanessa down here, so hopefully she can do some damage. And, and, and let us see what's going down. Yeah. And I'm actually... Oh, crap. Never mind. I was going to bring Ford, uh... Or Vanessa to Ford, but... Uh, not anymore. Not... Ooh, skill... Secret book? Alright, um... We need to bring a wing unit over there when he's run out of ballista ammo. Which hopefully won't take too damn long. Because... Ballistas can be very annoying, especially since winged units are weak to range, and ballistas are very powerful ranged weaponry. So just be careful. That's a lot of experience. And the reason I didn't change Ross is because Colm is pretty weak right now, but when he... Damn it! I could have supported! I can actually do that right now. I'm going to be doing this. All right, let's, let's see. Hey, you! I hope that maniac isn't talking to me. I'll pretend I can't hear him. La la la. You, over there, mage woman. Are you talking to me? Firstly, my name isn't mage woman, nor is it you. Why don't you lower your voice and act a little more civilized? Who are you? I'm, the, I'm son of the warrior Garcia, Ross. So, you're son of warrior Garcia Ross. That's an unusual name. I'm Loot, genius mage extraordinaire. You've probably heard of me. 
So, sir, son of warrior Garcia Ross, how may I be of service to you? My name is Ross! You're kinda weird. Hey, you can use magic, right? Yes, although to be more accurate, I don't just use magic. I'm a master of all magic. Please don't make that mistake again. Wow, that's really great. Well, maybe for you. For me, I'm just that good at... It's, nor it's normal. Isn't it hard to remember all those spells? Well, I think for the average person, it probably is a difficult task. But for me, it's a simple... It's as simple as using a hint of fragrance when baking a cake. I have no idea what you mean. Wait a second. Does that mean even I could learn magic? No. Hey, at least pretend to ponder the question for a little bit before you answer. Okay, bye. Hey! Wait, hey, wait a minute! And there's the first support. Alright. Uh, it's Jack Salad. I know I keep asking you this just about every day, but what does the support do? It's probably the same thing as... Wait. Wait for it. No, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, it's probably the same as Coleman Yemi, because, um... It's about the same thing, but could you just tell me what they do? Because I like to know... Oh, Staffy. Yeah? Well, because I like to know, and you seem to know just about every thinger. Oh, one off, one off. Come on, that's not even fair. So yeah, if you could tell me, that'd be pretty cool. And, um, yeah. Let's get to business. Oh, I thought that, was, I thought that supply was a support. Tell me, brother, what should I do? Come on. Fight, Tana. You know you want to, you bastard. Yeah, calm. Get in that damage. I'm probably going to have to heal him next turn. I might actually heal him with loot, just because... Just because why not? And here's Ford as a paladin. Destroying some soldiers. And he can attack twice, which is really awesome. Because most units can't against... Um, those guys. I can't think of their name right now, which is really pathetic on my part, but... You, you get what I'm trying to get at, so... Eh. Bam. Now, I really do like Paladins. I like Great Knights a little bit more, like I said, because they have all three weapons, so it's they're pretty much like a master. But, um, I don't know. We don't use Seth. Plus, oh, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh, holy crap. Holy crap, guys. That could have been seriously bad. Shit. Alright, and we can show off Vanessa. She looks really awesome. I really like the, um, Wyvern Knight, I think that's what she is. It's it's a really awesome class, and I like how the dragon doesn't have arms, it just has wings. I don't know, it makes it look more, like, agile and faster, which is cool, I guess. Okay, thank god that didn't hit. So, let's recruit Cormag, because we can actually do that with Taina. And they actually, I believe, they can have a support, so I'm going to be using them. And let's talk. Sorry for all the talking in this episode, by the way. Wait! Please stop fighting! I'm sure we can reach an agreement if we just talk. You are... My name is Tana. You're from Grotto, aren't you? Why are you fighting against General Duessel? It's none of your... Do you hate him? Do I hate him? This isn't some petty schoolyard squabble, girl. I'm a soldier of the Empire, and I have my orders. I've been sent to punish a traitor, and that's what I aim to do. Are you telling me that General Duessel is a traitor? Do you know him? Don't... Wait, don't you know him? Do you think that's really true? What I think isn't at question. Faith does not dictate my actions. I have my orders. Ephraim trusts your General Duessel. He's given him the benefit of the doubt. Have you chosen not to believe the reasons for his actions? Get out of my way. I'll waste no more time with this duel of words. Wait, please. Protect General Duessel. It would be tragic if he died before his motives became clear. Move, please. If you won't get out of my way, then I'll have to move you by force. Very well, if you must. But in exchange, I'm asking you to believe General Duessel. You're an odd bird. To think I'd lose a fight, not to a man's sword, but to a woman's words. What? You win. I'll protect General Duessel. But I plan on sorting this whole mess out with the general himself. Do you mean that? What, do you mean that? I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but I think this is what I, I what my brother would have done. And we get Cormag just like that. Uh, there's no point in staying down there now that we have him, and I'll be showing him off to fight and kill this guy, uh, Killer Lance. Now, he is just like these soldiers right here. I can't think of the name exactly. He is still the first class, and he actually comes with an Elijah Whip, which is freaking awesome. Yeah, Wyvern Rider. And uh, a Wyvern Knight of Grotto, a gentleman, but a ferocious warrior. Now, he can... Well, actually, he can't use that right now, but he can shortly. 
So yeah, um, yeah, we got Cormac. He's a really awesome character. And ooh, I can't think of what I was gonna say. Anyway, let's attack and kill and maim and destroy and just decimate Grotto's army. Oh man, guys, I'm probably gonna be cutting this episode short right before um the end of my next turn, mostly because you know I just not that I don't want to keep going, but I just don't know how much time I've spent. Uh, that's 18. You know, we'll go with that. Didn't mean to speed that up. And ooh, miss on a 71. Not bad. Not not bad for the computer's accuracy. That is. Comb just leveled up. Level 16 strength. Ah, dang. Okay, well. It's still not too bad, so... And... Staff Peel of Cold. Do it up. I like the uh, Mage Knight Staff. It actually looks really awesome. And I believe... Uh, how much you heal is based on your magic, which I believe I mentioned. And that's 21, so we're healing a lot. And you can... Ah, damn it, I want a Javelin. Maybe... Actually, maybe... We have one in the convoy? No, we don't. Crap. Well, looks like Joshua has to take down this guy. Actually, I'm going to be showing off the rune sword just to, well, show it off. Anyway, you raise the sword up, and if you're missing any HP, it will heal you for whatever you hit. So it's pretty much, I like, if you, if you know Pokemon, it's pretty much like Absorb, Giga Drain, and Mega Drain, like those. But it actually has a dark affinity to it, I believe. So, ooh, damn, we're getting weapons left and right. And it's actually really good against uh, light units, like Ardor would be weak against it. And stay right there. Where's loot? Here you are. Gotta get that support up somehow. Oh, I was gonna end my turn. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up really quick, and then I'm gonna end. Oh, we, we fast forwarded to the critical hit. Whatever, you guys have seen that probably like a million times, but the Killer Lance broke, which is kind of unfortunate, and please... <gasps> oh, miss, thank frick. All right, he's going for loot. Oop, no big deal. That actually didn't do anything. Okay, other phase, let's do this. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, take care.